In 1964, there was a, a very fundamental book written by Chalmers, uh, Principles of Certification. Then 10 years later, there was another book, also quite famous, written by, by Mert Flemings from MIT, which was called uh, Certification Processing. And then in the 80s, there was a, a third very famous book, Fundamentals of Certification, written by uh, Kurtz and Fischer. Uh, and although there was a, a revised and expanded version of this last uh, book, Fundamentals of Certification, in the 1990s, it was about 20 years since, uh, I would say, a book written on certification uh, fully covering the subject uh, was uh, written. So with my co-author, John Danzig from Illinois, and myself, uh, we thought it was the right time to, to have a new version dedicated to both certification fundamentals and certification application. In fact, uh, over the last 20 years, we have seen major development uh, and improvement of certification theories thanks to different things. In particular, theoretical developments, yes, but uh, of course, as any other topic, the fantastic development of computers uh, allowed us to have some new modeling technique to investigate this topic. For example, the phase field method or the coupling of microscopic model of certification coupled with macroscopic heat and mass transfer. Uh, these were really a lot of achievements. At the same time, and in parallel, there were several experimental uh, tools which became available more and more widely in the community. I think in particular to synchrotron, which delivered very strong X-ray beams, which allow us to make in situ observation in 3D of evolving microstructures, for example. Also orientation imaging, which allowed to really detect all the crystallographic orientation of the grain formed during certification. So both fundamental development in modeling, in theory, and also experiment, and so, basically, this book, which is quite, quite big, quite thick, uh, in fact, tried to encompass all these new developments, but also with the uh, basic theories that were outlined before, and all this with a single and uniform notation throughout the book. So the book is subdivided in three main parts. The first part uh, just give uh, the fundamental basis which are needed for the field, in particular on thermodynamics, phase diagrams, then uh, heat and mass transfer uh, analysis, analytical method, which are uh, specific to a few uh, situations, and numerical techniques. The second part then dives directly into the topic itself with the formation of microstructures. In particular, uh, there is a chapter on nucleation, then on dendrite growth, then on eutectic and peritectic certification, followed by a macrosegregation chapter, and finally covering this part, the coupling of microscopic model of certification with macroscopic heat and mass transfer, what we call micro-macro approach. And the final part, the third part, is in fact related to defects, which are very important in certification, and the three major defects are porosity, hot tearing, and macrosegregation. So this gives a very comprehensive uh, a book. This book is, is mainly aimed at reaching master students, PhD students, uh, uh, of course, professional engineers working in the field of certification. Uh, as a matter of fact, it is based on the course that I launched more than 25 years ago, a certification postgraduate course that is being held every year in, in, in Switzerland, thanks to the organization of Calcom ESI. And we have seen more than 1,000 participants over the last 25 years from something like 50 countries and uh, more than 300 companies. And we, in fact, give this book to professional engineers uh, who, who didn't have really a basic background in certification. Uh, in the second edition, which replaces the, the first one, which is now exhausted, uh, we have made several improvements. The first of yours uh, was to correct a few uh, typos and small errors. As a matter of fact, you have an errata which is available on the web. I shall come back to this point uh, later. Uh, 
then uh, we we have expanded the book by about 10%, so it's a little bit thicker uh, compared to the first edition, in order to cover the, the most important and recent development in the field since the first year the, the edition was published in 2009. Uh, and so uh, it, uh, it's really a little bit uh, more comprehensive. Uh, then it is in color. Most of the figures have been colored, and this is just not for the cosmetic. It's very, it's an added value when you want to present simulation results, for example, to have maps in color, also to view phase diagrams, ternary phase diagram with colors. It's really very useful to help the reader see. And last but not least, we have tried to emphasize in this second edition uh, the part that are most important through the concept of making in boxes, which are called key concept, the highlights of each chapter. So there are about 10 to 15 key concepts per chapter, which help the reader memorize and see what is important uh, in each chapter. So uh, I would like to uh, recommend to all the people who are interested in, in the second edition to go to the website solidification.org where they will be able to see 20% of the book. Uh, they are able to download all the color, uh, the figures in color from the website. They can see the errata. They can see, uh, because we know in any book there are always small errors, um, they can also view movies which uh, have been given by several colleagues with their comments and they can also download these movies if they want to show that to their students or for themselves. So uh, just uh, go to certification.org and see what is this book about.